This video explains how to identify transformations such as reflections, rotations, and translations using line segments. Transformations change the position or orientation of a figure, but not its shape or its size. Any original figure before a transformation is called a pre-image, and the figure after transformation is then called its image. Today, you will learn about three major types of transformations, the translation, reflection, and the rotation. A translation is a transformation that repositions a figure by moving it one or more directions to a new position. You can think of a translation as sliding a figure to a new place without turning or flipping it. As with all these three types of transformations, the shape and the size remain the same. No flipping or turning means the orientation stays the same after a translation. And since the shape and the size do not change in any of these three transformations, not only will the corresponding side pairs in the pre-image and the image be congruent, but the left side will be congruent to the left side, the top to the top, and so on and so forth. So let's look at this picture. Triangle MNO is the image of triangle ABC after it has been translated. See how triangle MNO is AB, triangle ABC, but it has been moved down and to the right. But the image and pre-image have the same shape and size, so they're congruent. Since this is a translation, each pair of sides are congruent. Side AB is congruent to side MN, side AC is congruent to side MO, and side BC is congruent to side NO. Now, a reflection is a transformation that flips a figure across a line, sort of like a mirror image. That line that separates this mirror image is called the line of reflection. Flipping means the orientation is reversed after a reflection, but since the shape and the size of the figure remains the same, as it will in all three of these transformations, um, this is still congruent. If the reflection is horizontal, meaning going from right to left or left to right, the left side will switch to the right side and the top and the bottom sides will remain the same. If the reflection is vertical, like this example, the top and bottom will switch, but the left and the right will remain the same. So looking at this figure below, you can see that triangle WXY is the image of triangle ABC after it has been reflected across the x-axis. See how triangle WXY is flipped across vertically? But since the image and the pre-image are still the same, and they have the same size and shape, they're congruent. Since this is a reflection, each pair of corresponding sides are congruent. So side AB is congruent to side WX. Side AC is congruent to side WY and side BC is congruent to side XY. Finally, a rotation is a transformation that turns, think spins, an object to a new orientation around a point. Spinning means the orientation is turned, but since the shape and the size of the figure remains the same, the corresponding sides are still congruent. Finding the corresponding sides will depend upon how the figure is rotated. For example, the left side may be congruent to the bottom of the image. Let's look at this figure here. Triangle EFG is the image of triangle ABC after it has been rotated. In this figure, you could see that triangle ABC has been rotated a complete 180 degrees to create this image triangle EFG. But the image and pre-image are still the same shape 
and size, so they are congruent. Since this is a rotation, each pair of corresponding sides are congruent, but you have to be careful because the corresponding sides are not necessarily on the same right, left, top, and bottom side. So you could see here that side AB is not congruent to side EG, it's congruent to side EF since this has been spun around a point. Side AC is congruent to side EG and side BC is congruent to side FG. So to recap, a translation changes only in the position. The left side is congruent to the left side, the right side is congruent to the right side, the top to the top, so on and so forth. A reflection flips a figure across a line. It changes the position and orientation of either the top and bottom sides if the change is horizontal or the left and right sides if the change is vertical. In rotations, they change the position and the orientation. Corresponding sides are congruent, but it depends on the rotation as to which sides are corresponding, and rotations are the ones that spin an object to a new orientation around a point.